Hey, today I'm gonna to talk to you about how the mask has been doing and some of the hate I'm getting from some crazy adamant anti-maskers. I'm also in a weird shiny cube that I made last night out of cardboard, which I am not gonna film the whole video in because it is very uncomfortable. Also very hard to hear me speak with this mask on my face. So back in April, I made a quick YouTube tutorial on how to make a mask. It became really popular. A lot of people were interested. People asked to buy it ready-made. So I got it into production, which has now become one of the top selling Lumen Couture products, which is no surprise because everyone is wearing masks right now. I initially wasn't quite ready for the attention. So it took me a little while to get my production up to be able to scale to the number of orders. But since then, it's been really popular. It's been covered in a whole bunch of different media. Um, and it's in the national collection of three international museums. It's inspired some cool fan builds, plus lots and lots of cool videos from customers wearing the masks with all sorts of messages. There are also knockoffs starting to show up, which is a bit of a bummer, but what can you do? And it's kind of something to expect when you make something new. There's always going to be a time where the knockoffs catch up. One of the unexpected outcomes of all of the popularity was that it also attracted the attention of some people who are very, very adamant that I should not be making masks and that people should not be wearing masks at all. Now, I've been online for a while. I'm pretty outspoken about stuff. I've had my fair share of internet drama, but I really did not expect that a mask would be something that really sets people off. When I first made this, it was just a fun project, and I've always had the disclaimer that it doesn't make medical claims, and if you have to wear a mask, you might as well make it fun. I got the usual masks don't stop coronavirus comments, which I don't agree with, but if you want to express your opinion in a reasonable way, you do you, I'm fine with people making those comments. But what I really didn't expect was the amount of total craziness that came through with some people who are just really, really angry. Stuff about Bill Gates, scandemic, uh, all sorts of vaccine stuff. I just was completely not expecting that. One person or a couple people in particular, it's been really hard to tell how many, if it's just one person with a lot of fake accounts, took it really, really far, started making threats not only on Lumen Couture, but on me personally. And they created fake accounts to write crazy bad reviews over and over and over. And the thing is, if I was going to try to take down a brand, I'd probably write reasonable reviews with stuff like there was a long wait, which is actually true. It took me a little while to get my production up. So some customers were waiting or just saying it's a bad product. Or if you're anti-mask, just say something about being anti-mask. I got some mask hate for sure, but some people started writing really crazy, wild conspiracy stuff. It was from three or four accounts that copy and pasted the same thing over and over. Super weird stuff like that the FBI was after me and that I'm not even a real person or that I didn't make the mask. And this didn't make sense to me, but I also think critical thinking maybe was on top of mind here. Which luckily meant that because they were so crazy, it was pretty easy to get those fake reviews taken down. And all of my real reviews from real customers are, knock on wood, I hope I'm not jinxing myself, but they're currently all at five stars because I do make an effort when things have gone wrong or haven't been perfect, which has happened from time to time, being a new product. As I mentioned, there were delays. I was trying to figure out my packaging and some stuff got damaged in the mail. But people have been generally really chill, really understanding that it's a new product and it's just me. So thankfully, you know, I do have a lot of great reviews and great comments. And I really hope that I'm not giving the trolls ideas who will now go and try to make, you know, reasonable reviews to pull it down. So fingers crossed. And the upside is, aside from this person or a few people who just have way too much free time on their hands. Most people have been really chill, really positive. A lot of customers were clapping back at some of the crazy comments, even saying that they were buying more masks because of the anti-maskers, which I don't know if it's true, but it's funny to think about. And if it makes the trolls angry, I like it. But that being said, having a whole bunch of bad reviews on your brand is stressful. It's frustrating. You do have to go through and report them one by one. One of these commenters with all the fake accounts was actually going through and looking for every hashtag with Lumen Couture or my name. And they were posting on the feeds of my models and of other people I've worked with and of people sharing my work. So it, you know, also caused drama for them and it had gave them something that they had to deal with, which I really kind of felt bad about because, you know, they don't need one more thing to do in their day either of reporting these trolls. 
And it hasn't stopped, so it's pretty annoying to have to wake up every day, have to think, have they created new accounts? Are they back? Are they making new comments? I fully expect that they will probably show up on this YouTube video and make comments, so grab your popcorn. Uh, again, it's just one thing I don't want to have to deal with in an already pretty busy day, all because I decided to make a fun blinky mask. But to everyone else, thanks so much for continuing to support the project and my channel. Up next, I'm working on getting the materials and the manufacturing process even more streamlined so that I can bring the price down. I know that my initial price has been a little bit high, but I have raised nearly 5k US for WHO COVID-19 relief, and I also have been able to break even on my initial investment for the business, which is awesome. So I think now that I've broke even there and made some donation, I'll actually be able to bring the prices down for all of my new customers. Also up next, I'm working on improving the app and hopefully getting an API app and making the app open source because I have had a lot of requests from makers and hackers who wants to do all sorts of cool things with the mask. So thanks again so much if you've been supporting the channel or buying a mask or just generally being a reasonable person and not a crazy troll. Uh, keep safe and keep making awesome cool stuff.